What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're diving back into Mega Live 2 from Humminbird. Uh, how to get the clearest picture, how to adjust those dynamic contrasts, your sensitivity, and your regular contrast to get the clearest picture on whatever body of water that you're fishing. And we're going to talk about uh, the persistence, how you can get a trail behind those fishes in your jigs. Um, also, we're going to be talking about um, how to get this unit factory reset those Mega Live 2 settings in case you get this unit too far out of whack and how to calibrate your transducer to get extra dialed in out there in the water to utilize this Mega Live 2 to the most. So let's dive into it right now. All right, guys, in this screen recording, we're sitting in about 12 foot of water. You can see the depth here over on the right. This is the picture. You can see my J or my uh, split shot and a fathead minnow dropping down there in the left-hand side. And you can see the picture is very cluttered up, a lot of noise. Um, this is the factory settings right out of the box. Um, sensitivity on 10, contrast on 10. The first thing we want to want to do is change the dynamic contrast. That's going to play a big factor in the body of water you're on. <clears throat> the first thing, when I, I've been on some dirty bodies of water, some clear bodies of water. I filmed this. There's a fish coming up off the bottom right now uh, looking at my fat head. Um, the first thing I do when I get to the water is adjust my dynamic contrast based on uh, muddy water or clear water. And uh, to do that, you get to your main settings menu for your screen by this little three bar on the top right hand side right now. So we're on live. That is going to give us our live settings. You can see we have sensitivity, contrast, dynamic contrast. Dynamic contrast is what is going to play a big factor in this screen clutter. We could change this to balanced or high or on low. Um, if you're on a dirty body of water and you're having a hard time picking up stuff, you're going to want to put this on low. But since we're ice fishing, the water is very clear. There's a lot of sun uh, going through the ice since there's no snow cover. We can take a look here at balanced. It took out some of those particulates high it took out even more so that right there just cleared up the picture tremendously from what it was set at the factory out of the box we're going to go ahead and click that arrow back to get to our menu again the next thing i like to do is change that contrast um if you're on a dirty body of water and you're trying to pick up stuff you can make this contrast go down but on this clear body of water you can see that is making the screen very cluttered back to how it was with the dynamic contrast on low. We're going to bump this up. I've been running anywhere on these clear bodies of water, anywhere between 15 and 18. You can see 18 almost took away. Let's just take a look at this picture. Let's exit off there. And you can see my split shot, my fathead minnow, very clear. There's still a little clutter on this screen. Now we're going to adjust sensitivity. After we've adjusted that dynamic contrast and the contrast itself, now we can adjust the sensitivity up or down to dialed in to the most. It's clear body of water. We don't need much sensitivity. So we're going to turn this down almost near zero. It, it goes all the way down to negative 10. And it almost takes every little thing out of the screen right there. I've been running mine at zero on these clear bodies of water. You can see another fish just came up here. Uh, checking out that fathead minnow, but the picture quality is very good. So, first thing you want to do, dynamic contrast, adjust that so you get your clear picture, then go to your contrast, adjust that up and down so you can get a clear picture, and then go to that sensitivity and dial that up or down to get whatever you want out of your unit. Whether you're looking for a tiny jig, I mean, this is a this is a the smallest split shot you can get, and it's picking up perfectly with the sensitivity on zero. Um, if it was a muddy body of water, it might have a hard time picking it up, and you might want to bump that sensitivity up to uh, ten or, or or whatever. So um, that's the simplest way to get the clearest picture on this Mega Live Two. All right, guys, we're back on factory de de uh, defaults on forward mode. We're going to go back up here to the main menu, same as the uh, the down mode. We're going to change this, balanced, high, go back, adjust this contrast up 
Uh, starting to get pretty good there around 15, and then we're going to bump this down to about 5, and look how much clearer that picture is. Uh, marking some good weeds down here in the bottom, some fish. Um, we have a school of fish right here real close to us, right on the uh, the base of that drop-off. We're going to do this in the down mode really fast, see if we can pick up that school of uh, fish there. And here they are right here on the right side, the direction that I was pointed with that forward uh, mode. So uh, there you have it, guys. Clear picture. We could even bump this down a little bit more. Um, or that contrast, we could bump up there to 18 again. But it seems on this body of water that I'm fishing uh, with clear water, that contrast needs to be set very high and your sense to be down very low and uh, picking up the smallest jig you can throw down there very easily. I know we're only in 12 foot of water. Um, if you're in deeper water than that, then you're probably gonna have to bump that sensitivity up a little bit higher, maybe not turn your contrast as high up. Um, you have a lot of different color palette options. It's really whatever you prefer. Um, to do that, you go back up here in the settings and it has your sonar colors. It's got a ton of them here. Blue Craw, Golden Shiner, Alabama Amber. I'm not going to go through all of them. This is on Doppler right now, but you have PB&J, Parrot, Spring Craw. It's kind of like the Doppler. Um, what it comes out of the box on, I believe, is Golden Shiner. That is like the classic um, Mega Live. I just like, for some reason, that Doppler. It just, the different colors in there, it makes everything pop out more. You can see the, you know, the, the outlines of the solid part of the fish. Um, weak returns or this light blue. This is a weed right here, um, right underneath me. And there's just a ton of fish hanging around these shallow weeds um, right now. You can see we're only in six, seven foot of water. A ton of weeds and a ton of fish down there. Um, but really, these color selections it just it just depends on what you like this one's kind of cool too with that green you know the green is a uh soft return um not super solid you see the base of this uh weed uh growth here is red the fish are red but they're surrounded by green um i really like the doppler but it really depends on what you like i kind of like that blue background and the red uh and the red just goes really good things stand out really good um The next thing I want to talk about is persistence. Persistence is a trail um, that you can see when you are when you pull up your jig, it'll leave a trail behind your jig. To do that, you again, click on that settings right there, go down to your extra settings there, and it has persistence right here. And you could turn this on um, low, medium, or high. You can see how this little uh, thing dropping down right here, it has a little purple trail behind it. You kind of see which direction fish are going and things like that. If you're into that, there's where that persistence mode is. All right, guys. If you get your Mega Live 2 or anything else on your unit, uh, Explore 9 unit or 10 or 12, um, really far out of whack and you need to restore your defaults, how do you do that is go to your settings, go down to System, click on Restore Defaults, and this will have all your different defaults for your chart, your sonar, um, your side imaging, things like that. Right here, we're gonna restore Mega Live 2 settings. Click on that right here and hit that continue and that's gonna restore all those settings for your Mega Live 2. The last thing I'm gonna talk about, guys, is the, um, once you're in your settings, you click that settings again and you could actually go to installation and you have uh, here Mega Live Calibration. If you click on your Mega Live Calibration, you have to be in 15 feet or deeper in forward mode, and it'll actually calibrate this Mega Live 2 transducer, and that is just one more way to get your unit that much better dialed in. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got a very good clear picture. Um, these screen recordings, the best thing about them when you're out there in the water is it takes the data from the whole entire sonar, not just a screen recording of the actual picture on the screen. So say you had your sensitivity up really high, your contrast down low, 
it's not going to just record that screen of that. It records across the whole network of all your settings. So you can always record out there in the water, come back home, play around with those adjustments, and get the clearest, cleanest picture. Um, that's one of the best ways to learn how to do it, um, rather than being out there on the ice and uh, trying to figure it out, th out there. So take your time, guys. Uh, get on this unit, learn how to do it, do some screen recordings out there, come back home, play around with them, and work on getting that clearest picture. And that's how you're going to get dialed in the best. So uh, next week, guys, we have an Explorer series uh, advanced tutorial. We're diving in a little bit deeper on this Explorer unit, its capabilities, how to get some cl good, clean, uh, crisp pictures on side imaging, down imaging, things like that, 2D. So stick with us, guys. Please like, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next week.